Hey everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be covering a lot of stuff. Um, I'm still going to try to keep it somewhat short though. Um, so we're going to dive right in. First thing to talk about is our pack to power a cure. Um, it is officially over. Uh, the auction has been held and the, uh, the cards have been shipped out to their new home. Um, now, unfortunately, I made some rather major errors uh, in the creation of the auction. Um, the shipping service I selected was the wrong one. Um, and essentially, it made it astronomical shipping-wise. Um, the person that won it, um, they wanted it paying like almost 30 bucks in shipping. And I know there were some parts of the U.S. that it was like 40 or $50 to get shipped to there. Um, so I did kind of throw in a clause where uh, the winner would receive um, whatever they paid in shipping as a refund, if you will, um, to try to convince people to bid more. Um, and then I got my times wrong, so the auction ended at 9 o'clock in the morning, not at night. So uh, I think that really hurt us, and unfortunately we only got $400.00. Um, out of the bind, actually not even that, uh, it was like 350 something and then, you know, shipping added on. Um, but, uh, as JJ pointed out to me, uh, while we're short of the thousand dollars I wanted to get for it, um, it was a very interesting and fun process that started off with a single pack of magic cards and ended up in a charity getting more than what I spent on that pack of magic cards. So, um, overall it's a win. Uh, we are going to do this again. Um, I'm going to take a little bit to kind of recover from it. Um, and I'm going to have a new strategy for this next time around. Um, you know, just things I learned doing it this first time. But anyways, that's where we're at. Um, I want to put out a huge thank you to everyone who, uh, who helped with this project. Um, there's a lot of you that shared, a lot of you that traded, a lot of you that traded, um, vastly in my favor. And one of the things that, uh, I learned from this first time around is I really wish I would have kept a notebook of those people that, you know, traded me $50 worth of cards and then, you know, only took a few dollars of cards in return. Um, so to all you people, and there was a, a good number of you that did something like that. Thank you very much. Uh, like I said, next time around, I'm going to keep a list so I can personally thank all of you for everyone that, you know, just went above and beyond to make this happen. So, um, yeah, that's where at with that. What we got up next? Um, oh, that's right. All right, we're going to go ahead and we're going to flip cameras here. Do, do, do. All right. Um, now, this is already opened. Oh, you know what? I need to... I'm not sure if that made it on camera or not. Um, if it did, I will edit it out. Um, I forgot to scribble out the address here of the the sender. Um, now, so I'm going to admit right off the bat, I didn't know this was like a fan mail type thing to begin with, so I, I did open it, okay? Um, but then as I pulled it out and I was, I was trying to think, I'm like, what the heck did I order? Um... You know, and I couldn't remember anything. So the second I pulled it out, I'm like, wait a second. This did address to Chuck Wagon MTG. So um, this is what we got here. And this is a little envelope. Um, was, uh, I think that's CW. Um, and then it is very securely taped here. So we're going to uh, find out what this is all together. Uh, and a David Booth. Um, Dave Booth. I, this name is ringing a bell. If it's one of y'all, I apologize. It, I know the name from somewhere. I just can't put a face with it. So, um, yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and oh, this is, this is taped rather, rather well. What we got here? We got some magic cards. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we, we got. Oh, MTG Foil Kit! I knew I, I knew it. I knew I recognized that name. Uh, it's a foil land. Oh, is this one of the? Uh, 
Is this one of the promo lands, I think? Maybe? Possibly? It's foil. And autographed by MTG Foil Candy. Oh, there's another one. Oh! If... You gotta be kidding. This is a complete set. Well, heck yeah! Well, thank you very much, Dave. MTG Foil Candy. Check out his channel. Um, if you get a chance, um, I'll go ahead and I'll try to remember to put a link up at the end of this. Uh, so you can check out his channel because he's got some cool stuff. But that is pretty awesome. Thank you very much, sir. That is greatly appreciated. Um, these are not going to go into the, the Patreon binder is what I do with, uh, I wouldn't say all of my fan mail, which I really don't get a lot. Um, <clears throat> but I have been known to put stuff in the Patreon boxes. But this is going to go, I actually have a section in my, I have a personal collection binder. Um, that stuff that just is not for trade. I have no interest in getting rid of it ever. So, um, and I've got some other stuff that's been autographed by other creators. So these are going to go in there. Thank you once again, Dave. I greatly appreciate that. That's awesome. All right. What do we got next? Oh, you know what? Um, we're switching things up this week a little bit. Um, kind of doing it out of order, if you will. Um, we are going to, uh, do the, uh, weekly giveaway. Wow. Just blank for a second. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do the weekly giveaway now, and then we're going to get into, uh, whatever we got next. Uh, so we're going to flip over here. Uh-huh. There we go. Um, and then we've got, uh, everyone who commented on, uh, last week's video. You're in here. We're going to run over to random.org. Roll two six-sided dice. We got three, so we're going to click that wheel three times, and whoever comes up, you're going to win a pack of standard. Good luck to everybody that's involved. We got once, twice, and thrice. Congratulations to John Range, 35. Congratulations, sir. You are the winner of, we're going to say this pack of standard right here, which you can't see because I have not flipped the screen yet, so... Um, we're going to go ahead and flip back over. There we go. Okay, you're going to get this pack of cards. All right, so let me just real quick before I forget, because I am horrible with forgetting stuff. I'm going to go ahead and write your name down here. John Range 35. All right. So we got that. And we'll go ahead and start off with this and see what good stuff you get. All right. Please remember, you do have 30 days to contact us. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, whatever. Get a hold of us because uh, we need to know a shipping address. Um, if it's not claimed within 30 days, then it goes back into the patron stuff. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, you got a foil, sir. You got a foil. All right. Let's see. We got uh, Blood for Bones, Ogre Siege Breaker, Salvager of Ruin, and... Okay, you got a Temple of Epiphany. That's not too shabby. Let's see where our foil is. It is... Oh, oh, oh! Oh, man, I thought it was that... Uh... It's still... It's, it's not what I thought, but it is a retributive wand. And I haven't seen this one in foil yet. That's not too bad. That, that's that's not too bad of a foil. I kind of like that. Okay. Well, good stuff there. All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab a sleeve. I'm going to throw said cards in said sleeve. And then we're going to grab your name tag. And there we go. I'll put it into the pile of cards that have not yet been claimed. Alrighty, well, I think that about wraps it up. Thank you very much for watching. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, the rest of the patrons who haven't gotten a video yet this month are like, what the hell is going... No, I, I'm sorry, I, that was probably a bad joke. Alright, so we are going to uh, get going on our patrons. We do have a few more left for the month, so let's start off with Twilight E. Twilight, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. And you know what? I didn't grab the right amount of packs for you. Um, where'd my box go? Let me grab you one more. All right. So, Twilight. 
Uh, he's in our investor tier. So for 10 bucks a month, he gets two packs of standard. We go over to the build a pack box. We're going to grab him two random rares. We got one. We got two. A common or uncommon worth at least a buck. A random foil. A random foil basic. And then we're going to grab him ten out of here. These are just cards. I grab two. That's going to count as one, though, because that's how I roll. Um, these are cards from Magic's entirety. There's no alpha, no beta in here, but there is some legacy type stuff. Um, modern, just stuff from throughout Magic. Um, now, there's nothing in here that's like crazy insane. It's all commons, uncommons, with the occasional rare thrown in. Can I grab two again? Man, you are just hitting it big today. Uh, let's see, we got one, two, three. No, I, okay, I only grabbed one. Five. Um, like I say, and there are uh, random foils in here. There's prize cards, as we saw last week, which was gross. There was like, I think we had three extra prizes one last week. Um, so yeah, and then there's the occasional card that's been sitting here long enough to actually spike. And it's actually worth a decent amount of money. We've had that happen a couple times. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually need two because that first time around I grabbed two cards. So we're doing that. And then we'll grab this one. All right. Let's see what we got for Twilight's Eve. We have got a Yarox Fenlurker, uh, Uncaged Fury, Syndicate Messenger, Lifecraft Calvary, Echoing Calm, Furnace Celebration, Burning Tree Vandal, uh, Ceruli Caretaker, Maniacal Rage, Glaring Aegis, and a Glimmer Post. Good stuff there. All right, let's see what we got it for our Foil Basic. Uh, ooh, you got a... Uh, is it Kamigawa or Saviors? I think that's regular Kamigawa. Uh, but you got a Mountain, so that's kind of nice. Awesome sauce there. Our random foil is... Oh, Bristling Hydra. Uh, the promo version. Rock on. Our common or uncommon is... Ooh, Venom Sliver. Love slivers. My oldest EDH deck is a sliver deck. Almost completely foiled now. Uh, our first rare is a Tunnel Ignis from Scars. And then we got a Niblist, Niblis of Frost uh, from Eldrazi... Or not Eldrazi... Um, Eldritch. There we go. All right. Well, congratulations on that. Let's see what you have in your packs. Skip past all this. All right. We got a Brineborn Cutthroat. We've got a Colossus Hammer. Devout Decree and a Bishop of Wings as your rare. Pack Number two. Did we get a foil? I think we may have gotten a foil. Does that feel... That feels like there's a foil... No, it doesn't. I'm sorry. We got Scholar of the Ages. We got Scuttlemutt. Yarox, Wave Crasher, and a Masterful Replication. And there is a foil. There is a foil. I lied to you. It looks like white... A moment of heroism. That's good stuff right there. All white, right. Well, congratulations. Thank you very much for being a patron, Twilight. Greatly appreciated. We'll go ahead and stick those up there. Grab your name tag. And we are on to the next. Okay, so who do we have up next? We have Cody Harat. Cody, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciate now this is uh cody's i i i'm almost positive this is cody's first time uh with us i could be wrong but you know what now he is in our booster pack club so he gets a random foil basic and then like i said i'm pretty sure this is his first time so we grab a random card out of here and then we sign it and then he gets a pack of cards this is all just four bucks can't ask for more than that all right, we're signing a Root Snare is coming to you. Your Foil Basic is uh, an Ixalan Plains. And then let's see what you got in your pack. 
And uh, Cody, if you got one of these last month, because now that I'm thinking about it, I I think maybe, I don't know. My memory is so bad, so bad. But you know what? You're getting an autograph card regardless. That's how we're doing it. All right. Let's see what we got. We got an Uncaged Fury, Master Splicer, Aether Gust, and a Hanged Executioner. This card, so I was playing on Modo a week or two ago, and someone had this, um, and what the heck was it? It was something that let them play something from Exile. If I'm remembering correctly, I, they abused the hell out of this. It was, it was gross. It was fun to watch. I mean, they ended up losing because we wound up having, um, I, I, I'm, especially on Moto, I build fun decks. I don't build really competitive decks. I'm not a fan of competitive EDH. Um, and someone had a, a Gitra deck in there that was just, we got annihilated. But anyways, I digress. Cody, thank you very much for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Go ahead and take your name tag, put it down there, and go up here. All right, who do we have next? Next up, we have Cosmo. Now, I know for a fact this is Cosmo's first month. So, we're going to go ahead and grab him a full basic, and then we're going to grab him a card to sign. We are signing a Naturalize. And then his foil basic is, is that the same? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, I mean, same set, same color, but different art. So, a plane from Ixalan. And let's see what we have in the pack. All right, we got the Eagle. We got the Vengeful War Chief Overcome. And then our rare is Scheming Symmetry. So, there is a deck that I use that in that is rather good um it's only good in arena best of one um once i mean i guess control sideboard um would just annihilate this deck and that's why it's not really that viable but it uses this card and citadel of bolas and man when that deck goes off it just goes off so anyways but thank you cosmo for being a patron welcome aboard all right. Next up, uh, last but not least, we have Kevin Chan. Kevin, thank you for being a patron. Greatly appreciated. Now, he is actually our oldest patron. So he's getting a basic land, uh, a Dominaria Island. And then let's see what we got in his packs. It's been a while since uh, Kevin got really insane pulls. I know there for a while he was just pulling ridiculous ridiculousness out of this box like a full art foil almost every time um all right we got vampire of the dire moon thought distortion ancestral blade and a lotus field all right well i guess land is your thing this time around all right well congratulations which by the way kevin i have been enjoying the hell of all the pictures you've been posting uh, from your honeymoon and all that. Once again, congratulations. I could not be happier for you, sir. All right. Well, that finishes up, patrons. Um, so we're pretty much done next week. Uh, hopefully, as long as everything goes right, we'll be cracking open uh, some Throne of Eldraine packs for some patrons. Uh, we're going to have to see how things go, though. Um, I'm personally excited for this set. It's... Uh, it's bonkers. It is absolutely bonkers. The flavor, the feel, the, um, I think the playability is is rather high, considering this is a brand new uh, play. It is a brand new everything. It's, you know, we're, we're seeing new mechanics, a, a new plane, new characters. Everything's new. Um, so, considering that, I think this is going to be amazing, amazing set. So, anyways, uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click the like button. Hit subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you can tell when we come out with new stuff. And then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find us on Facebook and Twitter, Chuckwagon MTG.